Juanita Thompson, a hairdresser, and Charles Cryer, a factory worker, welcomed Sweat into the world in Harlem, New York City. Following Charles Cryer's death in 1973, Juanita took care of their five children all by herself. Sweat held positions as a mailroom clerk at Payne Webber, a brokerage business, and a night stock worker at Macy's department store before entering the entertainment industry. He advanced to a profitable position as a brokerage assistant on the New York Stock Exchange floor in just four years. In 1975, Sweat began performing as a member of the Harlem band Jamila. Sweat was able to refine his lead vocal skills by doing regional shows across the tri-state region of New York, New Jersey and Connecticut with Jamila's assistance. Drummer Walter Bradley, guitarist Michael Samuels and bassist Larry Peoples formed the band. He sung at bars all around New York City after leaving the trio in 1984 to pursue a solo career. Eventually got an opportunity to record for the independent label Stadium Records. Later in 1987, Keith Sweat was approached by Vincent Davis, who had launched Vintertainment Records, a record label best known for publishing Joski Love's Pee Wee's Dance in 1985 after learning about him and offering him a recording contract. Vintertainment Records was established in 1983 on the foundation of hip-hop. Electra Records distributed Vintertainment from 1985 until its closure in 1990. Three million copies of Sweat's debut solo studio album, Make It Last Forever, were sold when it was released on November 24, 1987. The album's biggest hit, I Want Her, number one R&B and ranked fifth popular pop song, which was nominated for a 1989 Soul Train Urban Contemporary Song of the Year award, marked the beginning of the new Jack Swing era. According to Johnny Gill, R. Kelly was supposed to be in LSG. Johnny Gill claims that Keith Sweat initially intended for his supergroup to consist of himself, Gerald Leavitt, and R. Kelly. The group would have been called LSR. Originally, it was supposed to be Keith, Gerald, and R. Kelly, but Robert pulled out from what I was told. Jill reported. Jill added that Gerald Leavitt had talked to him, and he was like, Man, Keith wants to do a group thing said Jill, 57, in an interview. At that point, LSG was created, and the rest is history. R. Kelly went his own way. Fans have been asking, who is better, Keith Sweat or R. Kelly? Some say, while R. Kelly had more hits, they prefer Keith Sweat, and opined that the Make It Last Forever album paved the way for R&B artists such as R. Kelly. That album was a classic. Others say, I'm all down for some Keith Sweat, but R. Kelly is much better all the way. It ain't even close. You'll just say nothing's changed 